Just sick of hearing all the same things over and over again It's messing with my head, oh It's 4 a.m. and I can't sleep Maybe I'll just call you instead Back when I was pressured I would've fallen to my whole ways But never mind that You cooled down But now you're too cold But I don't mention it Cause that's just way more problems for me why can't you see, we could have made it for the long run But now we won't, cause you're stone cold I guess that door is closed and can't nobody open it I don't wanna rush it, I'm just sick of Guten Morgen, beautiful people Hi <laughs> Okay, hi Today, I figured I would do a full day of eating for you guys And in the new house, since I have not done that yet um, <clears throat> <laughs> I have a lot of things to talk to you guys about with my eating and clearing up my skin and my current physique goals and life goals right now. So I'm going to talk about that later. But what you guys just saw was my breakfast. <clears throat> kind of embarrassing because if you guys have been a part of my channel for quite some time, you will know that I never stray from the Vans waffle, Betsy's best almond butter, and four egg whites, one egg, and my coffee. It's literally crazy how much I love it and how I never stray from it for like two years. Right? I don't know how. Well, <laughs> he eats pasta, he eats spaghetti every single night, so he has no room to talk. But that's not Vans waffles and eggs. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, that's a like little a different. real Italian, but I am. You are not Italian. <sighs> Taking you through the day. About to go hit up a leg workout, mainly glute workout, because that's what I train when I train legs. And I'm gonna record it for you guys on this bad boy. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, my skin has been so clear lately, but of course, the day that I do this, I get stupid zit right there. Hormones. It's that week. So, anyways, I love you guys. Let's do the dang thing. And happy Thursday. Alrighty, glute and hammy day, let's go. As you guys may know, I struggled with a low back injury for two years. I can go into detail in another video, but uh, basically I just started squatting once a week the past three months and it feels really good to be able to do that. So um, if you do have any low back issues when you're squatting, I highly recommend to stop squatting and find other exercises that help your glutes grow because there are plenty of them. I did an entire video, so if you guys want to go back on my channel and check that out, you can. Uh, so with this workout, I did start with squats because they are the hardest for me. And what you want to do if you want to target your glutes, you want to do a wider stance with toes pointed out slightly and really drive your glutes and hips backwards like you're sitting in a chair and squeeze your glutes the entire time. Give me eight to 10 reps for four sets. And remember to keep your core nice and tight so you stay nice and stabilized. Uh, so after this four sets, you're going to move on to hip thrusts and this machine is in my gym armbrust pro gym here in denver but you guys can take a barbell and put weights on each side <clears throat> remember to go heavy on these because that is going to really help you grow those glutes you want to tuck your tailbone under and really drive through those glutes all the way down all the way up and do about 10 reps here they are tough but they are a great exercise to help grow the glutes give me four sets of that after these hip thrusts you're going to superset with a rdl 
and a narrow squat. So with this RDL, you're going to bend your knees slightly, but the more you bend them, the more you're going to target your glutes. I want you to target more of your hamstrings here. So try and keep them a little bit straight, but don't lock out your knees. Give me 12 reps total. So one RDL, one squat equals run one rep and go right back into those hip thrusts. The next exercise is a glute kickback. Now, I am angled so that my right hip here, as you can see, is more angled up towards the ceiling rather than the floor uh, so that I have kind of a sideways uh, glute press rather than my knee facing towards the floor, if that makes sense. So it's kind of, you kind of want to get into that position that feels like you're working your glutes rather than your quads because uh, you don't want your quads to take over on this exercise. Give me 12 each side for sets. After this, you're going to move on to um, step ups on a Smith machine. And the reason why I like step ups on a Smith machine is because you can really push all that weight into the back of your glutes and your heel rather than having to try to and stabilize you can completely lean on that smith machine to help use your glutes as best as you can uh, so i want you guys to do 10 reps for sets each side and any kind of step up movement always gets my heart rate up a ton so if you're trying to get your heart rate up during your workout definitely add some step ups uh, because they are killer so give me four sets of these once you are done with the smith machine step ups you're going to move on to good mornings now these always have been a struggle for me until I did them correctly to target my glutes. So I used to really feel them in my low back, but um, I then started to put the weight a little bit further down my back and really hinge at the hips, almost like a, a seated position. That way you're really pulling from those hamstrings and glutes to move that weight. Uh, once you get a good feel for these, you'll get the good feel forever. It just takes some time to really get used to because it's an awkward movement. I want you guys to do 12 reps, 4 sets, and then super set with pulsing Bulgarian split squats. Give me 10 reps each side. And with these, I'm going to show you guys how I get into them. It's kind of weird, so maybe not use me for an example. But I place my leg there and I hop forward. Really squeeze your core though on these so that you stay balanced. Um, so again, superset these two exercises for four sets. The last exercise is going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to make you guys do two minutes of walking lunges you heard that correctly two minutes of walking lunges three sets please don't kill me later okay bye <laughs> <laughs> like low calorie or macro friendly. I literally just use some almond milk unsweetened and Khalifi is the best by the way. And a little bit of sugar free syrup. Just pour it on in there. And then you heat it up. <laughs> You're a creep. Uh, <laughs> get out of my full day of eating. You could be in it if you want, actually. It's how the beans oh. man does it. Beans man? Some call me the beans daddy. Who calls you that? <laughs> the father of beans. Tori brought over some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> may or may not have been munching on them. I actually do want to try these right now. Oh, <laughs> Just a couple. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. What did you want to try? The cracker. The cracker. <laughs> Just, <a> cracker. <laughs> Just one cracker. Just a cracker. Shut up, Steven. Just one cracker. This is barbaric. <laughs> Mm. 
You're a fire. Thanks, Tari. <laughs> N-E-T. Say N-E-T as in any time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. N-E-T. And then a gene. A gene. A gene is a genius. Don't get your mind in the gutter. <laughs> what else would it be? <laughs> it's not a peen. Is that what you're getting at? A peen? <laughs> Anyways, this went real oh. south. <laughs> Like so. Okay, for lunch, highly requested recipe that I've actually been eating a lot lately. Um, it's from my old coach, Nick Tong. Shout out to Nick Tong. He taught me this recipe, and I always ate it on peak week for carving up. Um, it's just so, so good. Don't judge it until you try it, okay? So we have a sweet potato that I just cooked. I do a full one. Um, we do egg whites, which I'll cook right now. I don't do the carton because I feel like doing an actual egg from the egg carton tastes so much better. Literally so much better. And then um, I'm gonna do probably a third of a banana and saute that up in some coconut oil, make it kind of caramelized. And then I'll add some almond butter powder. Betsy's best and cinnamon. I go in waves, so I'll be obsessed with it for like two months and then I'll get tired of it and then I'll go back. So I'm at the phase where I'm back to this recipe and it's so good. I like it because it's a well-rounded recipe. You have your carbs, your fats, and your proteins. It's so satisfying. Yum! Oh my gosh, the caramelized sweet potato. Okay, so you take the sweet potato. You guys probably aren't as weird as me and you'll probably scramble your eggs but I like them flat. I don't know why. The banana. I just gotta try it. See that burnt? Mmm, oh my gosh. You throw it on in. In terms of, if you guys like count macros or anything like that, you can obviously weigh out all of this to your liking, but I don't track anymore, I kinda just eat intuitively based on my background knowledge of counting macros for so long. So, um, I kinda just eyeball it. If I'm hungrier, I'll add more um, almond butter and more sweet potatoes. But yeah, so you mash it all. Oh, cinnamon, almost forgot. And it's so nutrient dense. Like really, there's no, hardly any processed stuff in here and really the only processed thing is this and it's one ingredient almonds so good so good <laughs> i don't know what that was videos though yeah but podcasting is, is so much harder i actually so i don't know if you guys know this but we are starting a podcast for balance no way <laughs> No freaking way! Tyler cares so much. So, just created a job posting because we need a podcast producer and editor to help us with that because I know nothing about podcasting and we want to start ASAP. But anyways, Tyler and I just had a financial meeting because he is my best friend. Also, just veered off to his own CPA company, which is really cool, but he's been doing my taxes bookkeeping everything since day one, literally four years. And so now he just um, is doing his own thing. Whoa. So if you guys need a CPA or literally anything, he's your guy, cause he's amazing. And yes, he's strict, but it's <laughs> great. <gasps> wow. Do you like that storm dance? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> As 
you guys see, I have the vegan protein powder from First Form now instead of the level one, which had a little bit of whey in it. Long story short, a year and a half to two years, I've been dairy free, but I was still breaking out. I think I was doing everything possible to keep my skin clear, but I was still breaking out. So I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to cut whey protein. I am obsessed with my whey protein. I love level one, so this was gonna be a really hard transition for me. So I did it and I replaced it with the vegan protein from level one or from first form and honestly my skin changed within a week or two it was literally crazy and i've been having whey protein since i was about i would say like 14 years old because my parents used to bodybuild so it was just part of my routine too i would have a shake every day and after an hour of eating it i always felt nauseous so i thought that you know having whey protein is and feeling nauseous after an hour is something that's normal but apparently it's not so i love this protein um, i can still make my protein brownie batter which you guys just saw and it's still really good so that is how i was able to clear up my skin obviously bad day for showing a full day of eating because i have a zit which i normally don't get i'm about to start my cycle and that's why but yes my skin has cleared up and now I'm having a pickle because these pickles are the freaking best. We have Clodifer and M. I'm pretty sure you haven't seen her since the Olympia 2016, which is literally crazy. And she's here visiting. So say hi to M. Hi. <laughs> and since we're doing a full day of eating, <laughs> I am showing you guys this terrible drawer that we have in the office. It's a freaking candy drawer, okay? And I literally get in here every day and get these. These are my weakness, so figured I'd be truthful with you guys per usual and let you guys know my um, full day of eating sitch is including some gummy bears, so cheers. Okay, dinner. We have an M. <laughs> we not on the menu. <laughs> not on the menu, or is she? Is she? She's available, guys. Not a snack, a whole meal. <laughs> <laughs> She's a whole meal. I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally gonna look you up after this if they don't already know. <laughs> we have spaghetti squash. So good. You guys can check out my last video on how I made that. Uh, 99% ground turkey, pasta sauce, and then we have a beautiful salad, hummus, and dressing. Dessert is dangerous, you guys. Don't get them because you'll want to eat the whole freaking thing. They're called Perfect Bites. Chocolate chip peanut butter, literally like cookie dough. The macros are not great, so seriously don't get them because they're dangerous. Maybe just a couple more. And then Steve has his, his puff. Uh huh. Panda puffs. Who? The gurneys. There's your puffs and your puffs. Oh. Oh, wow. Doesn't your bed just feel like the most amazing thing ever when you get into it? Also. Hi, my microphone is chilling off of my camera because it's a long story. Hi, Jelly. Thank you guys so much for watching this full day of eating. Uh, my life is just pretty much like this every single day right now. I'm not gonna lie. I want to do a full. I wanted to do a full day of eating that was literally how I eat on a daily basis. You guys saw my main meals. You guys saw that I do snack throughout the day. I not really focused on being super lean right now or focused on being super strong right now. I'm just really living life, trying to kick my own ass during my workouts and um, just trying to feel the healthiest that I can feel. So I guess you can say that I have definitely found my balance. I know that there will be a time where I want to tighten up and I want to have a six pack or something like that for fun, but right now I'm just really living life and I am enjoying it. So if you guys are like me and you feel like you have 
a great balance. Um, that's amazing because I feel like it's a very hard place to get to. All my life I have been trying to find this, um, especially during my fitness journey. I have been either really, really strict or you know, really, really heavy on macros or just completely lost on what I should eat on a daily basis. Yeah, that was a really long rant, but I'm just really happy to have found balance and I hope that seeing this video really helps you guys find that as well and realize that if you aren't having a specific goal in mind right now, that it's okay. I am able to stay you know, the shape that I am in because I do kill my workouts and I do stay active and I do eat healthy. So I'm not saying like totally give up on your diet and your training because you have no goals. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that it's not always about having the best physique you can. Sometimes it's just about living life to your healthiest and living life to the fullest and feeling amazing. So yeah, I have a lot of energy feel good, feel strong. Do have a very exciting event, big event that we're planning for balance. So I'm thinking of doing a sort of tighten up series for that. It's gonna be a six to eight week series. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'm really hesitant to do it because I don't want people to think I'm unhappy with my body. I just miss doing a series with you guys and like pushing myself with you guys during it I guess you can say because that's what I used to do with my prep series back in the day when I was bodybuilding so I just thought it'd be fun to do kind of a not only a physique series but also like continuing to be the strongest we can mentally because to make like a physique change you have to be pretty strong mentally so anyways oh my gosh that was a lot of talking I love you guys please be sure to like and subscribe down below I hate that I keep putting this in the frame. Bye.